up Yuzu Punks, it's Missy and today I'm going to be showing you how I take care of my synthetic dreads. So I've had these in since October of 2019. I did take them out for a week, a couple weeks ago, um, just to do a really good deep cleaning, clean my dreads, and then just to re-bleach and redo my actual hair. I do have a video taking those out and all of that stuff on my channel. If you wanna check that out, I'll link it up here somewhere. I got my dreads from Alice Dreads, which is an artist on Etsy, and I take care of these things like they're real dreads. So the way that I take care of my synthetics might be a little different than the way you take care of your real dreads or your synthetics. Not necessarily saying that these things will work for you. It's just what I do and what works best for me. And I wanted to share it with you guys because a lot of you always ask me like, do you wash your hair? How do you take care of your hair? Here you go. So first I'm gonna show you how I wash my dreads. Um, so if you're offended by exposed shoulders or my exposed back, maybe don't wash this because I filmed it in the shower. Just saying. <laughs> so let me show you guys this first and then we'll talk about all the products I use and other special things that I use on my dreads. Get ready for it to get super awkward because here I am in the shower. So I always wash my bangs first. I will show all the products and everything that I use on my hair in a little bit, but I wash my bangs separately so I can make sure that I get all of them and don't get the shampoo through my dreads because that's super important. Then I always put in my hair conditioner, which I'll explain what that is here in a little bit. And I let that sit until my dreads are completely washed. Next, I start washing my dreads. So I just let the water run through my hair let it get all my wet dreads wet, get my scalp wet, and then I just take my fingers and kind of like massage on some of the spots that I notice some buildup of like dead skin cells and sebum and crap. I just make sure that my whole head's wet. Next, we're gonna be using this. It looks like pee in a bottle. So this is my special dread shampoo. I will show you that, of course, here in a minute as well. Basically, all I do is just go through and put a little drop in different areas and it like spreads out over my head. And then I just rub it in a little bit with my fingers and make sure it's all over the place, focusing more on the scalp than anywhere else, basically, with this. and then my hair flapped a big glob of water on the screen. I will put this on my dreads at least every other time I wash my dreads just to get some of the funk smell out and to make sure I get like the buildup of products and stuff that I put in them out. Then I rinse my bangs out and rinse my dreads basically the same way that I rinse them to get my head wet. I'm done in the shower I always make sure that I wring my dreads out before I get out because they hold a lot of water and even though I did this they're still gonna drip literally everywhere for the next four to five hours and then this is how I actually dry my hair when I'm out of the shower I'll comb my bangs first and then I'll take a ew dryer sheet no, I will take a microfiber cloth and put it on the back side of one of my bath towels. Microfiber cloth sticks to my dreads and makes them frizzy. So I do this so then it adds extra absorbency to the towel and the towel won't make my dreads frizzy. So I just wrap the towel part around my hair and give it a squeeze and that gets a majority of the water out. Okay, so some of the products that I showed I used in the shower, probably couldn't really see them too well. So this is the shampoo that I use on my bangs, the only part of my real hair that's exposed. And this is just Bioterra for colored hair. This is from Sally's, it's Sally's version of Biolage. It smells and looks and does the exact same thing that Biolage does, it's just about half the price. And then I also use conditioner, which I showed you. All it is is my hair dye mixed with some of the Bioterra or Biolage color protectant conditioner with some of my hair dye, and that's how I keep it so bright and then this is the other stuff I used on my actual dreads and on my scalp so this is a mixture of water and my dread shampoo from Dolly Locks this one's in the coconut lime grapefruit smell so basically all this is is a bunch of essential oils that takes like the buildup of like dead skin cells and just the sebum and stuff that your head naturally produces this helps get that off without damaging your dreadlocks this is safe for um, synthetic and real dreads 
There's no type of conditioners or sulfates or anything like that that can damage and build up into your hair. This is basically um, just a nice clean rinse for your hair. And I use this type of bottle. I got it from Sally's that has this type of top on it. Because as you can see, as I was washing my hair, this little pointy tip thing will go in between each of the sections of my dreads and go right onto my scalp. And then because this is a more liquidy water consistency, when you put a little bit like right here, it'll spread out and go through your whole head. So you don't actually have to put a crap ton on, it will run down through your hair. But yeah, that's what I use to wash my dreads and my hair. Dolly Locks is my favorite brand of dread supplies. That's why all the products I'm gonna show you, like most of them are Dolly Locks. They're the best products that I found. They have the best reviews and all that stuff. I'll put links to their website in the description box. They're safe for synthetic and real dreads. Um, hashtag not sponsored, but Dolly Locks, if you wanna sponsor me, send me some crap, cause I love you. Another thing people ask me a lot too, is like how many times I wash my dreads a week. And I only wash them one or two times a week, depending, like if I'm super sweaty and my head feels itchy, I'll obviously wash them more than that. But most of the time I wash them about once or twice a week. The days that I don't wash my dreads and only wash my bangs, I use this little shower cap. I think I got this at Walmart, um, but the inside is lined with like a terry cloth and that helps like wick the moisture away from my dreads. I just put them up in a bun, tuck this over top of them, and wash my bangs, which you've seen in that video um, that I wash my bangs separately anyway. And I wash those almost every single day, if not every other day. So yeah, little shower cap. These are the products that I use when I get out of the shower on my dreads. Um, and then sometimes just throughout the week, I'll use them. So this is my own mixture. I got this bottle at Walmart in the travel section, fairly cheap. All it is is a little bit of tea tree oil, some witch hazel, some of my conditioning oil, and then the rest I fill it up with water. You wanna shake it up before you use it every time. I didn't really have any measurements. It was just a few squirts of each of those. And then this is kind of like an anti-itch stuff. So I will spray this on my head right after I get out of the shower. Cause for some reason, I don't know why, probably because it's drying, but my head gets super itchy after I wash it. But this stuff works amazing. And you can use this anytime you want. Spray it all over your head if you want. And it's non build up products, so it won't ruin your dreads. The next two things are types of oils that I put in my hair. First one is tea tree oil. I found this at Walmart as well. But this I'll put on my hands like you've seen in that video and just palm roll it into my dreads, rub it in, uh, make sure it's on there real good. And that helps prevent fungus and molds in your hair because with dreads that happens sometimes. It just adds some nice oils and softness to your dreads without ruining them with conditioners. Just putting it right onto your scalp helps a lot too. So this is like a really good thing to have with dreads, real or fake ones. And then this is another Dolly Locks product. This is just a conditioning oil and it's vanilla scented. This I got mainly so then I could just have them smell good when I wanted to, which it does smell just like cookies. Oh. But I will also put this into my hair after I wash my hair. That's usually the only time I put it in. Just because after you wash your dreads, they will get a little bit like dry and scratchy feeling. And that conditioning oil is a non build up product that you can put through your dreads and it won't cause any type of nasty smells and it won't build up on them. Some other products that I use on my dreads, which are all Dolly Locks, of course, is a refreshing spray and some tightening sprays. This one's a Lavender Sky scented refreshing spray. This is basically just a dread safe dry shampoo. Sometimes, especially if I cook the night before and then go to bed, my dreads will smell a little stanky in the morning. And if I'm on my way to work or I just can't wash my hair that day because washing your dreads is literally an all day process. You have to wait for your hair to dry and it takes a long time to dry. This smells so good. <laughs> this will literally give you like the hippie smell if you know what I mean. But yeah, I love this. I use this all the time on my way to work or just on days that I can't wash my hair and it works amazing. And then I got two things of their tightening spray from Dolly Locks. This stuff is amazing. Like I said, you can use it on synthetics or real dreads. I have a baby bottle that I take with me places and then I have my big mama bottle. And this one's coconut lime scented. This has some sea salt water in it. So what this does is right up here where your new hair grows in with real or synthetic, this happens to both of us, you'll get some little frizzy hairs that stick out. And that's just normal look with dreads. Everybody that I see that has dreads, if they are not freshly tightened, will have those little frizzies, which I think they kind of look cute, but sometimes they're a little crazy. So I use this. All you do is spray it on wherever the frizzies are, kind of give it a little pat and then it'll stay down. So this is basically a non build up dread safe hairspray and it smells good too which is nice and this will just rinse off with plain water you don't even have to shampoo it out the only thing with this though is if you get too much of it on your scalp it'll make it itchy just because of the sea salt will dry it out a little bit another thing that i use to help keep my dreads really pretty and nice and 
whatever, is sleep with a sleeping cap. My fiance got me this for Christmas. This one I think is the large, so it's big enough to go over my head and hold all my dreads comfortably. And it's interchangeable, which is really pretty and cute. <laughs> These are made out of satin, so they won't let your dreads stick to it. They'll slide around real nice, no cotton fuzzies and all that crap getting into your hair. But this is just from Gentle Mane. They are also on Etsy. They have a crap ton of amazing satin products for anybody. Like you don't even have to have dreads to wear this and it just keeps your hair really pretty overnight. This isn't necessarily dread related, but I just keep all of my products in this little caddy. Isn't that cute? All my stuff. So that was that. That's how I take care of my dreads. That's how I keep them real nice and pretty and smelling good. Ooh. They kind of smell like berries today. Like I said in the beginning though, not everyone takes care of their dreads the same way. These are just the things that I do that help keep mine the way that I want them to look. If you guys have any other products or different ways or methods of taking care of your dreads, real or fake, let me know down in the comments. It might help me out, might help somebody else out. And then if you like this video, be sure to give it a ginormous thumbs up. I hope I answered some questions that some of you had. I always get asked like, do you wash your dreads? How do you take care of them? How do you keep them real nice and smooth? This is how. <laughs> I honestly thought taking care of dreads would be super hard and time consuming. It is a little time consuming on days you have to wash your hair, but honestly, I like taking care of them. It gives me something to do. It gives me purpose. Not that my purpose is to take care of my hair, but you know what I mean. It gives me something to do. I'll try to remember to put the products in the description box. I'll at least link like the Etsy shop that I got my dreads and like my little satin hat and all that stuff from. If you guys do have any other questions or anything, be sure to comment that down below as well. If you liked this video and you wanna see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button to join our eternal pizza party where I do fun little videos like this every single week. Sometimes I forget though a lot so make sure you turn on the notification bell so you'll get notified every time we do upload a video before we go though if you didn't know i have an instagram you should follow my instagram i post photos about my hair on there all the time i post other things on instagram i ask you guys questions on there a lot so if you haven't followed me on there here is my username go check out that for the pizza party after party i guess is what we're gonna call it now so go follow my instagram come join the after party but anyway guys that was that i really hope you enjoyed and i hope you have a super duper fantastic rest of your day. Mwah.